Yo, what's going on, my people? It's your boy, Crooks the Great, a.k.a. CTG, and welcome to my very first reaction video. And in today's video, we're going to be reacting to episode six of the Pop the Balloon or Find Love dating show. Now, this dating show has really went viral, man. I mean, you could see clips from this in YouTube shorts and on TikTok. I mean, it's it's got a lot of crazy content coming from it, but I don't really see a lot of reaction videos to full episodes. So that's what we're going to be doing. And this is going to be a two video, a two video set. So episode six is going to be two videos long. So if you do enjoy this kind of content and you do enjoy these videos, make sure to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that, uh, that like button as well. So this video does get tossed into the YouTube algorithm and also make sure your post notifications are turned on because although you subscribe to the channel, it, it turns on like personalized notifications, so you won't get every single notification for when I drop these videos. But for those of you guys that don't know what the Pop the Balloon or Find Love dating show is, uh, it consists of the people bringing on, the host bringing on a group of, I think, seven or eight men or women, and a contestant comes out, and if they like you, they won't pop their balloon. But if they find any reason not to like you or your vibes are off or you look weird or anything like that, they're going to pop the balloon and then they have, they're have they going to tell you the reason why they're not feeling you. So there's some really, really crazy reasons why people don't like contestants on this show. But you guys are going to see here in a second. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get it started. This is Ar Arlette Amuli. I hope I didn't mess up your name. But if I did, I apologize. And she is the host of the game show. So let's go ahead and get into it. With another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And this episode, we have the men lined up. Hey, guys, make some noise. <laughs> Y'all don't sound ready to me, but OK, we'll, we'll get started anyway. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, on this episode, we're going to have the girls come out one by one. Once they come around this corner, if you're feeling her, you like what you see, her outfit's on hey, point, one of the brothers hair, makeup, has whatever it is, on. do not pop your balloon. But if you see something you don't like. Hey, this dude, I mean, I like the fit, but the New Balance, is he wearing New Balance shoes? He getting ready to go to a barbecue after this. He just stopped through. He, just, he literally just stopped through. He's ready to go grill up some, some hamburgers and some hot dogs after this. He just, you know, he's chilling. This one, I'm not gonna lie, looks like how I'm gonna look in my forties right here. But you know, I just had a comment on on, on these two guys' fits because they look more relaxed and ready to go eat after this than they do uh, for a dating show. But it is what it is. Like you're just like, nah, I can't be with this girl. Go ahead and pop your balloon, and I'll go over to a few of y'all, see why you ended up popping, and so on and so forth. Y'all ready? Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady. So here we go. Oh, hello, welcome in. What's your name? Corey. Corey, how old are you? I am 25. 25, and uh, what do you do, Corey? I am an entrepreneur and a real estate investor. Okay. And well, she making model. big bank. But you know. A lot of multiple things. You know. <laughs> okay, okay. And so, um, Corey, what do you look for in a man? <sighs> I look for a genuine, um, basically the opposite of me. So okay. basically I can describe me, and that's what I would love in a man. So attentive, caring, kind, genuine, down to earth, mm -hmm. you know, and caring. Okay. Okay, so she just said the opposite of her. So she said that she needs somebody that's attentive, caring, nice, a gentleman. So what does that mean about you? If that's the opposite of you, then what does that mean? You're an ugly person. You don't care. You don't, <laughs> you're not nice. Like I, I, I really don't understand why she worded it that way because uh, them, look at these guys, look at these guys' faces. He's like, what in the hell? You just said that's the opposite of you. <laughs> He looks so concerned right here. Look at his face. He like, damn, what she mean is the opposite of her. It's crazy, crazy, crazy that she worded it that way, but hey, it is what it is. Really caring. <laughs> All right. And so what do you like to do for fun? I love to sew and draw. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. That's what I okay. do my Artsy. Time. Nice. And yeah. so like 
club. I made dresses. So Ooh. I made this. All right. Uh, that is a beautiful dress. Thank yes, ma'am. That's dope. <laughs> okay, so Corey. That's artistic right there. For not real, one for balloon real. has been popped yet. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to actually switch it all over to you now. Okay. So, sir, if I can have your toothpick. Thank you very much. Let me hand this over to you. So, first round, I know is always a little <laughs> bit hard because you're gonna have to do it just strictly off of looks. You don't know them or anything like that. So I'm gonna have you pop two balloons of two guys who are not your type. Oh, got first pop balloon. There we you go. You can still pop those two. We'll go back to him <laughs> shortly. <laughs> now, I'm gonna let y'all in on a little bit of something about this dude right here. This dude is a menace. <laughs> now, if y'all have watched my shorts, uh, uh, on an, uh, another episode we're going to break down, there's one menace in every single group. No joke. There's one guy that just makes you be like, damn, that dude is crazy. And this dude right here is one of them. You guys are going to see. Absolutely hilarious. And you can pop the two, and then I'll go ahead and ask you why you ended up popping. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You just go whenever um, you're ready. Just go. Yeah. Okay, just based off of looks. Strictly right? off looks, just yeah, for this first round. Mm -hmm. Two of them. Okay, two. Yes, ma'am. Okay, who's she going for? I'm just gonna... Oh, she got the brother with the suit. Okay, and one more. He came dressed to impress. It didn't work out for you, brother. Okay. All right, so let's stay over here. If we can have your name and how old you are. Oh, uh, my name's Madid, and I'm 32. And Madid, what do you do? I'm in finance. I do compliance analysis, but I'm also an entrepreneur. Okay. Uh, a lot of side, you know, side gigs. All right, okay. okay. All right. And so, Corey, why did you end up popping his balloon? Um, just the attraction level. It's not there for me. Okay. And so, you know. It's respectable. That's, it. that's all I can say. <laughs> it might have been okay. that seashell shirt. That. <laughs> all right. And now, uh, Madi, why did you leave your balloon unpopped for her? Uh, she's just a gorgeous woman, you know. Uh, you know, I like her style and the fact that she said she made the dress herself, you know, uh, well put together. And, you know, obviously she's fire. in real estate, looks like a woman that, you know, has something going on for herself and, you know, probably knows what she wants. But, hey, you know, she made the choice. <laughs> Thank you. All Thank right. you. Thank you. Let's go back over to our first guy yeah. that you ended up popping. It might have been that seashell Let's shirt, brother. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So why did we end up popping his balloon? Just the attraction level again. Again, That's okay. It. okay. Nothing personal. I don't know. But maybe if we had a conversation, it could have been different. But just off of the attraction level so far for okay. me. That's All about right. it. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and now, why did you have your balloon? Oh, I'm sorry. Could we have your name and how old you are? David, 34. Okay. And David, what do you do? I cut grass. <laughs> hey, look at her face. She looks surprised. They both look surprised. What you mean you cut grass? <laughs> Hey, but his Instagram kind of gave it away before he even said it. It said Tree of Life Lawns. So I guess he probably owns his own his own, his own lawn uh lawn care business, but damn do they look surprised. Okay, like a landscaper? Yes, I'm oh. a landscaping company. Oh, nice. Oh, he owns his own cool, landscaping cool. company. All and right. now why did you leave your balloon unpopped for Corey? Uh <clears throat> Honestly don't know why. I just left it open. Okay. <laughs> so is she your type? Is no. she someone? Okay, and why not? Uh, well, I just. I'm sorry. She, I laugh a lot. It's okay. <laughs> no, she's just not my type. It's not that she's ugly. Okay. <laughs> it's not my type. Okay. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're fine. Let's go on over to our guy. Brother, that don't make no sense. <laughs> he said, I honestly don't know why I held the balloon in my hand. I don't know. And she ain't ugly. <laughs> The dude don't make no sense. What was you expecting, brother? What was you expecting? I don't know why. Like He had every opportunity to pop the balloon, but kept it open until she popped it for him. And then said, I don't honestly don't know why I left it unpopped. He just, I, I think he felt a little bit salty because she popped his balloon. But he was trying to be respectful, so I respect it. And that's a badass suit, by the way. That's a, ba that's a badass suit. No joke. This this ain't cheap. This is like probably over a grand put together. This dude's wearing a grand <laughs> of of uh, uh of a suit piece right here. So hey, shout out to him. He making his money. That landscaping business 
it working out real good for brother right here. I mean, it's not really, you know, it's not really helping that receding hairline he got, but it is what it is. It's going good for him. Who ended up popping his balloon. All right, sir, if we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Joseph Smith. I'm 37. That's a and menace Joseph, name. Joseph, what do you do? I'm an Uber and Lyft driver full time. Okay. All yeah. right. And why did you end up popping your balloon? I don't know. It's the knee, the right knee. It got something going on. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I got eczema. <laughs> and I use coconut oh. oil. <coughs> yeah, zoom in on that. Um, Please. And I just don't know why it's like that. So I seen it and I was like, she not going to take my coconut oil <laughs> regimen seriously. Okay. Everything else looked moisturized, you know, but I seen that Ooh. and that was, that was kind of a red flag. Okay. <laughs> that's it that's it that's the only thing just the knee just okay. the knee right one day <laughs> you just did me <laughs> now look <laughs> i told y'all people have the most ridiculous reasons why they don't why they won't like contestants why they won't like the people that they're that are looking at them to be kind of a match for them and this is one of them he didn't like the right her right knee he didn't like her right knee. So he's like, you know what? <laughs> I got to pop my balloon because your right knee looking a little ashy right now. It's looking a little a little bit bad. Look like you lotion every other part of your body but that right knee. <laughs> what? Instead of asking her like, hey, you know, hey, what's going on with your right knee or something? He just said, you know what? Next. Get out of my face with that ashy ass knee. <laughs> It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. And he did it with a straight face. And he had everybody else in the back laughing. Look at the host is laughing. The brother back here is trying to hide his face. He's laughing. This dude didn't even notice the knee. He didn't even notice the knee. He's now just looking at it. <laughs> and, and she can't believe that somebody actually noticed her ashy kneecap. <laughs> crazy. Crazy. No, it's, I mean, everything else is good. You're beautiful, oh. but... That right there, to me, I got to be moisturized. I feel you. Jeez. I actually fail. <laughs> you fail? I fail. And I was thinking of something like that. I was thinking of something I fell like that. I this in this healing process. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. But. You got to take I care understand. of it. You got to take care of it. Yeah, it's healing. So. Yeah. All right. Now, Corey. He looks so disappointed in the fact that she didn't take care of her knee after she fell. <laughs> what the hell you wanted to do, brother? She fell. <laughs> Hey, hey, tell your body, recover, ASAP. Hey, recover right now. What you want her to do, bro? It's got to heal. He looked hella disappointed in the fact that she failed. It's crazy. Is he your type? Say the truth. Don't look at me. What's, what's I'm just looking at you so I can analyze you. Oh, okay. so I can... Go ahead, Corey. I I'm telling you, he's a menace. He's a menace. Um... You said you were 37? 37. Just based off of the age, no. It's okay. a little too old for me. I feel it, damn. Ooh. Damn. Damn. Uh. Okay, so just his uh. age. Damn, y'all 37? Y'all 40? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go on over to our next balloon pop. <laughs> if we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Josh, I'm 37. Okay, Josh, and what do you do? I trade stocks and I receive a military pension. All right. Wait, hold up. His Instagram was it's Josh, not Drake. Who in their right mind is confusing you for Drake, brother? Who? Who? A blind person? <laughs> A blind person. I didn't even notice that was his Instagram tag. It's Josh, not Drake. If you thought that this was Drake standing here, I highly advise you to go to the nearest eye doctor to go get your eyes looked at. And you probably shouldn't be driving a car if you think this is Drake. Let me tell you. Okay. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, I'm 37. So she said right there, like, <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm doing now. <laughs> okay. And now, apart from her saying, you know, 37 is a little too old for her, is she someone that's your type? Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. But, like, the knee thing, like, oh. he pointed out, I was like, ah, he's... Cause I saw the same thing, but I just I didn't want to I wanted to see what she was about. Okay. I they think really we're checking out kneecaps. But 
I'm 37, 25, yeah. but she's beautiful though. She is beautiful. Thank you. Definitely Thank my you. type. <laughs> Thank you. All right, and now Corey, is, is he your type? Once again, based off the age, 37, mm -hmm. I was 25. <laughs> That's a little too old so, for okay. me. Okay. Okay. Understand. Damn. Understand. Damn. She just hit the mute. All she right, just let's hit go the, back. The, we had one over here. The 1910s. Uh, oh, I was right 25. Here. <laughs> okay, if we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Eric. I am 38. Okay, Eric, <sighs> and what do you do? Um, I train animals, and I'm in advertising as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. And okay, now, brother. you emphasize 38, so I'm guessing just, that's... that's that, that, yeah, I just figured I'd save myself the trouble. <laughs> okay. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, now, I'm apart blaming. from, you know, popping because she said 37, right. 38 is a little too old for her, is she someone that you would approach? Yes. Okay, and why so? Uh, I like the fact that she likes fashion, mm. and I'm very fashion conscious as well, okay. so... For me, I thought that was a good plus, and she seems well put together as well. So, okay. yeah. Cool. Thank you. And now, Corey, apart from the age, if he were someone that were to approach you, would you be down with now that? Now, this one here, where you look. look she's sizing them up. Damn, she's looking at him like mind. a whole snack. <laughs> if, it, if my knee doesn't bother you because no. I failed. No, no. <laughs> I, I, have, I have scars on my knee from I riding a from riding a motorcycle as well. I okay. fell, so okay. yeah, okay. that wouldn't that wouldn't bother me. I like scars. I like the scar on her. Oh, on thank her you. I got eye. a few scars, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a few of them. I like scars. Yeah, That's okay. weird, bro. Okay. That's oh, a weird he's statement. Cute. He's handsome. Okay. He's well put together. Yeah. <laughs> I like the locks. Yeah. You have them nice and done. And thank you. Yeah, hey, nice. you guys see her mannerisms? You see how much she moving? When you see a female start moving their hands like that at you, and not in an aggressive way, like they're about to punch you in the face, but, you know, just he well put together. You feel what I'm saying? They feeling you. And she was sizing them up. She was sizing them up and moving the hands like this. She wishing he didn't pop that balloon. Let me tell you. And then he turning around, showing her the hairdo. His hair is fly. Them, them, them locks, they was worked on. He got professional lock uh lock doers you probably pay like four five hundred dollars for that hairdo right there tell you yeah look at that that's a different design for me yeah, yeah. you know we we pay a lot for this so, yeah. see show it off tell you can, so. i ain't even got locks like that but oh, thank i know you all right so we still do have a few balloons unpopped so did you have a question you wanted to ask the guys to help you narrow it down um do you guys have kids Okay. How many, how many? Let's go down over there to the ones that have kids. Oh, let's back it up. Hey, you see how quick he said it? He said, I got kids too. <laughs> he like, they about to walk right past me. I got kids too. Don't forget about me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if we can have your name and how old you are. Uh, my name is Obi. I'm 30 years old. 30. Okay, and Obi, what do you do? I am a maintenance technician. Okay, and now um, she asked if you have kids. How many kids do you have? I got three. Three kids. <laughs> I got three. Okay. All right. We'll be back. Look at that face. Look at that face. She like, damn. He got three kids. Damn. I was just hoping he only had one, but he got three. And I mean, the brother looks like he just came off off the beach at Cabo. In Cabo. I mean, that shirt is fly as hell. I'm not gonna front with you. The shoes that he got on are fresh too. I just don't know about the pants. I don't know about the pants. The fit is just, it's kind of messed up. The pants kind of mess up the fit. But, you know, brother's fly. You know he got money. He got three kids and still dressed like this. She, but it don't look like it's going for her. Could tell you. Back. Let's go get the other two. <laughs> All right. If we can have your name and how old you are. Uh, Miko Patron, uh, 37. Okay. And Miko, what do you do? Uh, welding engineering. Okay, all right. And now, how many kids do you have? I got two, two little girls. Two kids, okay. okay. All right, let's go to our next guy. Your name and how old you are? I'm Sean. I'm 32. Okay, and what do you do, Sean? I'm an SER, uh, sales development representative, and I work for Amazon. Okay, and how many? This brother right here looks like Lloyd. <laughs> My brother about to start popping off and serenading her with you and Southside. He ready to take you out on a date that reminisces 2006 dating season right here. I mean, he got the shirt. He got the braids. He got it, you know, 
he got it uh, uh he got it bundled in the back like Lloyd used to back in 2004. He ready to take you to the south side. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get you home by midnight. How many kids do you have? I have two kids of my own. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, Corey, are children a deal breaker for you? Uh, I have one more question. Okay. How many baby mothers do you all have? Deal breaker, baby. <laughs> deal breaker. And now, why did you have your balloon unpopped for Corey? Uh, well, she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, I was interested to hear what else uh, she would have to say. Any other questions? Um, I already knew the complications <laughs> that would come into this. So, just you knew, to brother. see, wait it out, and it's a deal breaker. So, I'm good. Yeah. I'm living my life. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And now, and he was respectful. Well. What did I? I respect mother. that. He didn't take it offensively. Same baby mama. One baby mama. One baby mama. Yeah, one two baby mama. cherry. Two same okay. girl. Is that? Can we come back? You want to? Okay, we'll come back for you then. She wants to give you a pass, so let's go. Okay. Oh, he, and he might get it. Yes, All right. <laughs> <laughs> so why did we end up popping our balloon? Um, just in general, just already knowing that you know you already don't like people with kids. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to you know. <laughs> interrupt nothing that you got going on so i'm gonna just let it go okay. <laughs> you know <laughs> all right thank you for that all right hey i'm gonna tell you something about this dude right here he a real one let me tell you he a real one and i and i'm not making no jokes about this i know i come uh, uh you know we kind of came after his outfit a little bit right here but that's a real dude response right there that's a real grown-ass father response right there if you don't like kids he already know it ain't gonna work a good dad knows, hey, I come with my kids. You ain't like my kids? <laughs> Get your ass out the way. I ain't dealing with you. You feel me? I respect the hell out of that answer right there. So no matter what this brother says, I ain't going to go against him because that's a real ass answer right there. Ladies, if you're watching this, this is the type of dude that you, this type of father that you want to have for your kids right here. Somebody that literally is all about their kids and is willing to turn down somebody that he thinks is attractive because they don't like people that got kids. Psh, shit. Bravo, brother. Bravo, I applaud you all the way. So, we do have our one guy left. Mm -hmm. Did you have any other questions for him? She don't like him. To ask him? Um, I, yes. Okay, let's go on over to him. Yes. <laughs> yes, oh, all right, go ahead. So have you ever been married before? Never. Hmm. Never. Did you growing up, did you live in a two-parent household? Nope. Lived by myself, I was. Lived by yourself always? I was. So you raised yourself? No, I really raised myself, but since I was 20, I've been living by myself. Damn, what is you, the FBI asking him, did you grow up in a two-parent household? Have you lived by yourself always? Next thing you're going to ask him, what kind of color drawers you got on? How many times you brush your teeth in a day? What time you go to sleep? What your feet smell like? What kind of socks you wear? Damn, girl, these are all questions. Let him take you out on a date first. Start asking him all these personal questions and shit. I, damn, bro. And look, he's sitting there like, damn, bro, why is she asking me all these questions? At least let me take you out on a date first. So who raised you? My mother. Just your mom? Yes, my mama. Hmm. Do you know your father? I know my dad. Do you have a relationship with him? Yes, I do. Bro, what the hell is this? That's good. That's good. Okay. I'm 50-50 because of the kid part. Okay. You know, that's it. There's a reason just, there, but that's all right. I don't have children. Okay. I don't I want some maybe later on in life. I can't do the baby mom drum stuff. I don't know if you guys have it or not. But my baby mama cool, laid back. <laughs> she married already. She already married. She already married to another guy. I know that. So right. I'm just gonna live her best life. Yeah. Um Damn, that was a shot. I'm just Okay. I'm sorry. And you can go ahead and pop it for 
<laughs> All right, so why did you end up going with no? Because <clears throat> the kids are a deal breaker for me. Okay. okay. I want somebody that doesn't have kids and we can share the experience together. Okay. He already has two, so you done been there, done it twice. <laughs> and the third time, we okay, you know? <laughs> so, <clears throat> so she done asked this brother over here and this brother over here and this brother right here. If they had kids, right? And it's a deal breaker. So why didn't you just pop the balloons and stop wasting people's time? If you knew that they were a deal breaker for you, you, you damn near grilled the brother harder than the cops grill him when they pull him over. Like, come on, dude. It's, it's crazy, bro. Why ask all those personal questions? Make him put his business all the way out there. Just for you to turn around and say, well, your kids are the deal breaker. What? <laughs> I'm telling you, ladies, don't do this. Don't do this. It's crazy. See, this is why a lot of dudes don't want to put their business out there because he just literally opened up to every single question she asked him. Told her about who he was raised by, about his kids, like all this stuff. And she still turned him down. It's crazy work. Crazy work. And and no, <laughs> and no need to do it one, I mean, second or third because... The first one, the second one, I wanted to be the one legit. That's mm. it. Shit I don't know what that means. The second one, I wanted to be legit. <laughs> I feel That's that. It. Yeah. I feel that. That was okay. nice. The hell is legit right. mean? Well, Corey, that is all the balloons popped. Yeah. Fortunately, we weren't able to find you a match today, but thank you so much for coming on. Oh, y'all about to have so much fun with all the other ladies back there. <laughs> Ooh, can't wait for y'all to see. All right, oh. let's give it up for her. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. Hi. We can have your name. I'm Serenity. Serenity, yes. how old are you? I'm 29. 29, yes. and what do you do? Work I'm in finance, I'm a financial advisor, and then I also am a personal trainer part-time. Okay, yeah. all right, cool. And what do you look okay. for in a man? Um, I'm looking for someone who has um, consistent character, um, good morals, a good relationship with their family, has faith in God. So yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we did get a couple of pop balloons. <laughs> Let's go on over them and see why they ended up popping. Okay. Let's start right on over here. If we. Uh oh, good old man has popped this balloon. She seems really well spoken. I'm not gonna lie. She 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 seems like she knows what she wants. She's well spoken. She works out. I don't understand why these brothers pop their balloons, but we're going to see here in a second. But like I said, old Menace popped his balloon, so you know he's going to say some wicked shit when they get to him. You already know. Look at the look in his eye. You already know. You can have your name and how old you are. Hi, my name is David. I'm 34. All right. And David, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, <clears throat> she. He's trying beautiful. not to talk shit. You seem strong, like you beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> This dude said, okay. <laughs> this said, you're going to do DV to me. Okay, so is it like the energy or like what? The No, I mean, she she seems much, she seems, uh, like I say, very beautiful, Thank but you. just uh, a little bit more, uh, seem, just trying not to be rude. I just popped my balloon. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. He's trying not and to now, talk shit to her. <laughs> is he your type? Um, very classy gentleman, very well put together. I love the suit and the shoes. Thank you. Um, I would say, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you. Let's go on to our next okay. guy. If we can have your name and how old you are. I'm Obi. I'm 30 years old. Okay. And Obi, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, you know what I mean? I, she's beautiful. I like her smile. She got nice Thank teeth. You. She got a nice body. You know what I mean? She's a personal trainer. I do that on my side, too. Mm -hmm. um, okay. But I'm not going to lie. It was just the feet. You the know feet. what I mean? I just, I just wasn't fucking with the shoes. You know what I mean? Like you beautiful, but I just, you. you know, the fit just wasn't it for me. Okay. You know what I mean? But other than that, like, the feet. You know, I, I would rock with her. You know what I mean? You got to come with something else. You know okay. what I mean? That's about okay. it. But. <laughs> hey, he just called her swag all out though. He said, "I, I just can't fuck with the feet." What? What? This is the type of brother right here. That literally, if you're wearing some dingy ass shoes, he ain't gonna get with you. 
If you ain't got your, your pedicure done, he ain't going to fuck with you. You better come right. That's what he said. Hey, you better come right with them outfits. You might look good, but if them feet ain't in order, they got toe jam in between them toes. You got a bunion. You got a, <laughs> an ingrown toenail or something. You best get up out my face. <laughs> he crazy, bro. He crazy. Okay. All right. And now, is he your type? Uh, very fit. Um, Physique-wise, yes. I would say he's my type, yeah. Okay. Right. Physique -wise. Thank you. Let's go on our okay. next guy. If we can have your name and how old you are. Hi, my name is Eric and I am 38. Okay, and Eric, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, I think it's a style thing. I don't like the dress mm. and I feel like, no, it's, not, it's not a bad dress. It fits you well. It's just I feel like the color mm. when, you're, when you're darker skinned, I like for girls to choose things mm. that will stand out to balance that. And so for me, it didn't, it didn't draw my attention immediately at all. Yeah. Right. Thank you. That's that's a respectable answer. He ain't talk. Hey, he just said, you know what? This is a nice fitting dress on you, but I just would have liked something different. And that's the truth. I mean, it, it is the truth. Darker women, you know, when they wear these kind of dresses, it seems like it blends into their skin more. It doesn't make them pop, which is what he's saying, which is respectable. You feel what I'm saying? It's respectable. I like that answer. That's a nice, cool, calm, collected, respected answer. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and now is he not like brother back there who said type? the feet? Um, all the fellas today are very well put together. Um, they look like they know have they have style. Um, so I would say um, not necessarily my type, but very kind gentleman, very well put together. Yeah. Okay. And is there anything specific that makes him not your type? Um, I would just say that the hair, I guess, like the dreads. Um, I really love a fade. So okay. that's just my preference. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. All right. Respect. Our next guy. Okay. Respect. Oh, not him. <laughs> <laughs> and we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Joseph. I'm 37. All right. And Joseph, why did you end up popping your balloon? I just told myself in 2024, she got to be 5'4 and under. Mm. Is she too tall? And we flipping it because they always want six foot and up. <laughs> now we're going 5'4 and under. So... <laughs> You know what? If you was five four, I you'd be my type. Damn. Everything. Okay. Yeah, I know. That's how we be feeling. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. See what I'm saying? He's a menace. Look at that. He said, "I told myself in 2024 they gotta be five four and under. <laughs> they gotta be five four and under." He literally is making this female pay for stuff that other females have done to him. He hurt. He hurting, bro. Hey, I respect it, though, because females do do that. A lot of women do do that. They'll turn down guys, and there'll be episodes coming later in the future that you guys will see women turn down smaller or shorter guys because of their height. So he's doing the same thing that, that a lot of women do to men. And that's why he said, it's ridiculous, right? But, hey, welcome to the other side. It's not. It don't feel good. It don't feel good. <laughs> and that's why she kind of, they're both kind of laughing it off because they do they do know a lot of females do do this to men and it's crazy it's crazy to me they don't give people shots because of their height exactly now welcome to the okay, side okay but you all know right. what I respect it you're beautiful. I respect it you got white teeth thank you, all you. Yeah. put together thank you I appreciate it but I need 5'4 okay we I can't respect be looking that. each other I respect in the that. eye when you got on heels okay so I need you to be a little. That's fine. That's <laughs> Everybody has a preference. But you're beautiful. Though. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. And now. Told you, Mr. Menace. Um, I would say, like I said, no. I give credit to all the guys today. They really showed up today. Yeah. But the dread sure is just not my thing. I love a good faith. Yeah. Clean cut. Yeah. Get it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Okay. If we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Josh. I'm 37. Okay. And Josh, why didn't you end up popping your balloon? Uh, just wasn't attracted. Okay. Um, just seems a little uncoordinated. I don't know. Maybe uncoordinated. It's just the heels, you know what I mean? The dress, but it's it's that simple. Okay. Like okay. I, I like sports, so you know what I mean. Like, I don't I don't know. If I can't take you on the basketball court with me, I don't know. I can hoop. Okay. I can hoop. Okay. I'm a good forward. Okay. My defense is hey. hard. Hey. All right. Maybe we can put one on one of these days. <laughs> hey, you see how quick he switched up? He said, "Hey, you seem uncoordinated. If I can't take you on the basketball court." You know, I don't know what I could do with you. And she immediately said, I could hoop. He was like, oh, maybe I have to take you out on the court. That changed his mind completely. He's like, hey, you could post me up anytime. <laughs> he tried to say he wasn't attracted to her. He know. 
He know, I take you out on the court with me. Yeah, all right, why are you taking her out on the court with you, brother? We know why. We know why we ain't dumb. She ain't dumb either. It's not my sport necessarily. I did track and field, but no, I can hoop though. Okay. Catch me on the court. All right. well, come yeah. On, comfy next time. All right, one on one. <laughs> one on one. <laughs> okay, and I know you said all the guys are really well yeah. put together, mm -hmm. but is he someone that. I've never dated anyone outside of my race before. I don't know if you're mixed with something or mm -hmm. if you're maybe Hispanic, but um, not necessarily what I go for usually. But you got a clean cut and everything. You're well put together, but yeah, not necessarily my type. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm half. I'm half and half. half. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. I figure you would be mixed Bla with Black and Spanish, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got that. <laughs> yeah. So you haven't hey. dated anyone even mixed either? Never, ever, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Yeah. Nice. Shout out, shout out to all my mixed people, my Spanish and black people. I'm the same way. Half black, half Mexican, ladies and gentlemen. Half black, half Mexican. We got it all. We got the good hair. We got the, the light yellow skin. You know what I mean? We got the swag. Shout out to my brother over there. I didn't even know you was black and Mexican, but or black and Spanish. Because let me say Spanish, because some people from Spain, some people from Mexico. We don't get that twisted around these parts up here. But hey, shout out to everybody that's mixed. So no. <laughs> all right thank you okay. okay sir if we can have your name and how old you are i'm sean i'm 32 okay lord and sean why did we end up popping our balloon um i just didn't feel like i would be your type um really? you seem pretty cool thank uh, you but i i just didn't feel like i would be your type Man, you're missing out on blessings. I'm really cool. I'm really chill. I really don't care about height. I'm never going to miss out on my blessing based on height mm -hmm. or anything like that. Like your hair is corn rolled back and oh, you're really well put together. So I don't know. You might want to reconsider a balloon. I don't know. Because is she your type? Hey, look, look. Hey, once she said, I like your corn rolls, he's like, stop it. <laughs> See, he looked up, man, tell me something I didn't know. You feel what I'm saying? Now he's second guessing it because now he knows he's her type. Will he take back this balloon pop? We shall see. Type, you said you pop because you think you're not her type, but is she yours? Um, hmm. You can get the balloon back. I mean, you, you stack. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the teeth is there. <laughs> you stack. Like every, you know, every. Hair, you see me? <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of trying to see what the other options are. Okay, I mean, all right. You know? okay. All right. All right. <laughs> and now I know you said you gave him quite a few compliments. Yeah. So he is someone that is your type? Yeah, he okay. is. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That brother second guessing yeah, himself. Skin. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Look at, you. Look at his yeah. face. Now. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, <laughs> now I'm, I'm just, I'm okay. going to see what the other. Okay. okay. All right. No, no problem. problem. <laughs> All right, sir. If we can have your name and how old you are. Uh, my name is Madid. I'm 32. Okay. And Madid, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, you, you're a gorgeous woman, you know, uh, I can't say less than that. It's just that, uh, you know, I like my women with a great sense of style okay. and fashion. Uh, I would have loved, you know, something on either of your wrists. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, I, I, I can't go out without a watch. <laughs> Whether I'm grabbing groceries or going out for a date, yeah. I got to have something on my wrist. Uh, that's just me, and I like what? my women to have that, too. Uh, also, uh, but definitely, I mean, you know, uh, if I see you somewhere else, we can definitely <laughs> hang out. I mean, you're in finance. I'm in finance mm -hmm. as well. You hoop. You know, you're into fitness. Yeah. Uh, a lot of things we have in common, but it's just, just a sense of fashion. Okay. Yeah. No problem. All right. Now, same thing for Mede. Is he someone that is your type? I love a black man. I do. <laughs> he got the fade and everything. He's tall. Um, and that, not necessarily, I'm not going to skip on or bless it on a, a short king, but uh, you got the whole package. You know, you look good. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Damn, he turned her down because okay. she didn't have nothing on her wrist, though. Crazy. It's crazy, time, right? bro. <laughs> oh, we're so going we do to Dr. Dre. Two balloons yes. left unpopped. Did you have a question that you wanted to ask the two fellas left to help you narrow it yeah, down? Yeah, absolutely. So the first question I had is uh, about faith. What what faith or religion do you guys practice? Okay, let's start over here. If we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Denzel, and I'm 30. Mm -hmm. And Denzel, Denzel, what do you do? Daddy Den. remote for a digital mortgage lending company. Okay. I'm also in school for cybersecurity. Okay. I'm looking to get my Security Plus, Network Plus, and Amazon Cloud Practitioner certifications this summer. Nice. This dude look like the dude that played Dr. Dre in Straight Outta Compton. It's his big brother. He just ate a lot. He just ate a lot and hit the gym every day for five years. Go If you don't know who I'm talking about, pause the video, go to Google, look at it, and come back and tell me if it ain't him. <laughs> he look exactly like this dude right here. Nice. And now if you want to go ahead and um, answer a question. Um, yeah, I, I 
definitely I'm Baptist. I've been to a Catholic, I went to a Catholic high school. Um, so faith is definitely strong in my family. Okay. Uh, mom goes to church every Sunday. So good. Absolutely. Okay. Wonderful. That's a, that's a little weird. He said he was Baptist, <clears throat> but that he went to a Catholic church. For those of y'all that don't know a lot about religion, Baptists and Catholics are two different like religious groups. So it's real interesting how that happened. Cool. I love that. All right. Let's go to our next guy over here. If we can have your name and how old you are. Uh, Miko, uh, 37. Okay. And if you want to go ahead and address her question. Um, she he don't remember the question. And she's, everything's right, but it just, uh, I would say. Uh, Do you remember see? the question? <laughs> you don't remember the question. Okay, if you want to go ahead and your restate faith? your question. Like, what religion do you practice? Catholic. Catholic, okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, I'm Catholic. Okay. Yeah, 100% yeah. Catholic. So I just need another question to narrow it down just a little bit. Okay. Um, so when it comes to the qualities that you look for in a partner, what are those qualities, at least three? Uh, fashion, uh, style, okay. and somebody know how to carry themselves okay. as a woman. That's about it. Okay. Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, you feel me? Um, one more time, repeat the question. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to the qualities that you look for in a right. partner, what are top three qualities you look for in a partner? Um, I, look, I look for a woman. I'm, I'm attracted to women who don't need a man, but they want a man. Um, someone who's caring, loving, uh, respectful. Yeah. Um, holds yourself accountable for all our actions. Yeah. That's definitely, like, that's, that's number one. And then communicating. Like, if we don't communicate and if we can't communicate, then it's not gonna work. So yeah. um, I should be able to tell you anything without you getting upset, and you should be able to tell me anything without getting upset. Yeah. So um, that answers the question. Yeah. Hey, good luck with that, brother. Good luck with telling a female something without them getting upset. Yeah, there is not a lot of females that are out there like that. There's not a lot of women that are out there that are like that. That is very, very hard to find. That's why you here. <laughs> that's why, that's why you here, brother. I'm not gonna lie. You gotta understand, man. A lot of women, they they don't understand with that. They're not gonna understand that they are gonna get mad. That's just kind of the way it is. So that's that might be a deal breaker for her. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, do you guys have a question that you want to go ahead and ask her? Yes. Um, do you have any kids? No, no kids. Okay. Yeah. All right. What's one thing this? What's what's one thing you're looking to accomplish in 2024? I want to be a homeowner before okay. 2024 is over. Yeah. Okay. What okay. are you looking to accomplish? Okay, oh, yeah, I get, I get that. I'll take that. All right. <laughs> All right, I'll take that. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take so that. So you have two guys left here. Um, if I can see your toothpick. Oh, I'm sorry. You had a question as well, didn't you? Oh, okay. let's not skip his question. Let's go over here. <laughs> he rethinking everything. Um, what do you see yourself at five years from now? Five years from now? I mean, three years from now. Three years from now? Yeah. Um, I'm looking to have a stronger relationship with God. Um, I'm also looking to be a homeowner, of course, and then I'm also looking to elevate in my career. Yeah. Are you a family person? I am. I love my Ooh. family. Shout you out like to kids. Mom. Yes. Shout yeah. out to mama. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh. Oh, brother popped his balloon. Let's I told y'all he was here. rethinking it Why after she left. You can see it in his face. You are gorgeous. You're beautiful. Thank you. You are everything. You're a strong black woman, yes. and I know you're wife and material, but. You just remind me of somebody I used to talk to, you know, man. And just hearing you speak, you're very intellectual. You can hold a conversation. But I just, personally for me and what I've been through, I just see the same kind of things. You know okay. what I mean? Not, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, you, you tough. I'm from Jersey, okay. so yeah, you tough. You, okay, you're I'm amazing. from Brooklyn. <laughs> I just, you just remind me of somebody. I'm like, you know what I mean? Y'all know what I'm talking about. When she just remind you of somebody that you used to mess with, and then you just start. Nah, I don't even want to put you in that situation. Okay. You know what I, mean? I respect but, that. I respect yeah. that. But you are you, tough. Okay. This brother right here has been through some things. Let me tell you. He started singing that Usher song. You remind me of a girl. You know what I'm saying? It was playing in his head, and them traumatic events hit him quick. Because they were only gone for five seconds. <laughs> they were only gone for five seconds. He's like, oh, damn. I remember that she looked like a girl I used to mess with back in the day. I ain't doing that again. You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> Let's go back on over okay. here. <laughs> sad, sad day. Sad day. Okay. Did you have any final questions you wanted to ask him to determine if this is someone you want uh, to go with? I had no other questions. Yeah. What about yourself? Um, I don't got a question. Oh, oh okay, okay, brother. Let's let's go ahead and come on up here. Come on. 
negative balloon. <laughs> what? Ooh, hold on. Brother with the seashell shirt. Can I get a balloon back? <laughs> okay, why are we changing our mind? We, you, you know Sorry what? The style thing can be fixed. <laughs> <laughs> That's a conversation we can have, and she's willing to uh, top yeah, it up a notch with something on the wrist. Why not? <laughs> okay. okay. All right, brother. Okay. The balloon back. All right. He said, you know, I could buy you something for your wrist. Let me tell you, if you're willing to compromise, I'm ready to slide up in. You feel what I'm saying? Look, at look, brother over here is like, he thought he was slick, but damn. Okay. So, let me see your toothpick, because now we're going to switch it over to her. Okay. You do have these two options here. All right. Um, so... Last question. Uh -huh. Do any of you guys have kids? Oh, yes, I do. I got two little girls. You have two girls? Okay. Yeah, the same baby mama. Are they twins? <laughs> nah, the same baby mama. <laughs> okay. 110, 110, 111. Okay. Yeah. So they're a little older. Uh -oh. I mean, what about you? Zero. My brother Zero said kids? no kids. Z okay. Serio, serio. I am looking for someone who doesn't have kids. Okay. Just because I don't have any kids. So okay. I would love an opportunity to build a family. So we're yeah. popping his. Damn. Right. Pop it, girl. <laughs> there you go. Okay, okay I'm going to have you come on up here. Oh. My brother just done slid in there and took the girl from me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you said you changed your mind. I did. And what made you change your mind? Well, I mean, you know, just hearing her, the kind of questions she was asking, you know, uh, she, she came across as a woman that is grounded, knows what she wants, mm -hmm. and obviously intelligent, and, uh, True. you know, I pop, you know, based on style, that's something that can be changed, and uh, yeah. I think we have a lot in common, you know, she hoops, she works in finance, I work in finance, mm -hmm. I work out. I don't look like it right now, but it's a matter of time. <laughs> you know, but yeah, yeah. All right, right brother. Get the balloon back. Okay. Get it, brother. All right. So take me shopping. That's all. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at him. We can switch. We can switch, the, we can switch up the style. Why not? As long yeah. as you take me shopping too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Hey. I got you. He threw it all in. All right. There. So final question: Is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yeah, it's a yes. And it's a yes for you for her. It's a yes for me. Hey, we got a match. <laughs> All right, you two can go on up. Right, I'll take on. this mic. Go. Hey, let's make some noise, guys. Okay. <laughs> he, not going out tonight, <laughs> he ain't going out tonight, then. <laughs> All right, hey. Hey, there was the first match of the reaction videos, ladies and gentlemen. And he made a comeback because he, he popped the balloon and then say, you know what? I could change that. I could buy you something for your wrist real quick. You intelligent, you well-spoken, you humble. I could take that. And that seashell shirt that he got on, I guarantee you she going to take that back to the house and burn it. <laughs> but, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for the very first reaction video that I have for the Pop the Balloon or Find Love series. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button so this video does get thrown into the YouTube algorithm. But like I said, make sure your personal or your notifications are turned on because I am going to be dropping the second part to this video uh, tomorrow. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, take it easy. Be safe. Enjoy the rest of your guys' day, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this from. And I will see you guys in the next video.